Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Claxton and today I'm going to show you how to convert your floor tom into a bass drum. Now the reason somebody might want to do this is because you might get called for a cafe gig or you might be playing a small pub where you know a 24 or 22 inch bass drum is just not going to cut it. It's going to be too loud and take up too much room. So you want something more compact and something that's going to be a little quieter. Now it obviously goes without saying that if you have good technique then you can feather the bass drum and it'll work out just fine, but if you're playing rock tunes and pop tunes at these places then you're definitely going to get into it and you're going to want to jam out. So it's better to have something a little more versatile like an 18 inch bass drum. So that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, I'm not actually gonna replace the batter head itself because there's really nothing wrong with this head. It's fairly new and as much as there's a bit of wear and tear just from touring and that type of thing, it's still a perfectly good head. So there's no sense spending more money on another head when I don't need to. But the batter head on the other hand, that's a totally different story. So that being said, I'm gonna flip it. But first, I'm gonna put it thrown down like this. Then I'll flip it. And by me doing this, it's just going to make things easier for me because then I can either stand or I can sit and work on it no problem as opposed to just doing it all on the ground. So this is just my way of doing it. Feel free to obviously do this on the ground, not a big deal. Okay, so the next step is obviously to get rid of the legs because we're no longer going to need these. See, as you can see, it's a little bit wobbly, but it's still not a big deal. It works fine. Now, grab my tuning keys, and I'm gonna take this guy off. Okay, now first things first, this guy has a little sticky here, and this is actually made by Sledge Pad here. I actually love this. It's just for resonant purposes and stuff, but uh, this thing's great. So we don't need this stuff anymore. So the next thing you want to do is obviously wipe this down. Could use a cloth and everything. This is really not that dirty, so I really don't need to use much more than my hand, but just make sure it's all nice and clean. Right, nothing, nothing on the inside there. It's not that bad, you know. So next up, you need to put something in the drum as if you would with any other bass drum. So a pillow, a blanket, you know, any of that type of thing. Um, now for myself, I endorse Sledge Pad, and I actually got this custom-made Sledge Pad, which is gonna sit in there perfectly, just like that. Now the thing is, it actually has these little sticky tabs on either side, just like the other Sledge Pad thing did. And basically, I'm gonna take advantage of that so it doesn't move around when I'm going to gigs. I'm just gonna place this just in the bass drum like so. I'm gonna try and even it as much as possible. Just like so, just like that, boom. All right, so we got our sledge pad in there. The next thing we need to do is obviously put a resonant head on it. And if you watched my last video, I showed you how to cut a perfect sound hole in the bass drum head. And I actually used an 18 inch and I was hinting at what I was gonna do with it. Well, this is exactly it. So we're gonna take this guy here and put her on. So now that they're all finger tight, I'm just gonna tune them just a little bit for right now. I can tweak it more later. All right, so now that I've roughly tuned this, then I can put it on the ground and use the one last tool needed to make it a bass drum. Now the tool I use is called the DW9909. So let's get on the ground and check it out. All right, so this weird looking thing that you see here is the DW9909. As you can see, the bass drum pedal's already hooked up to it, 
equipped with my custom low boy beater to match my kit. Now these little rubber stops here are meant to go on the underside of the hoop and they're meant to stop it from moving. Now as you can see there's lots of adjustments to be made on all of these legs to basically accommodate any sort of size drum or percussion instrument. You can even put djembes and congas on this as well. So that being said, I've already adjusted it. Let's just throw this floor tom on and make it a bass drum. Now placing it on is super simple. Like I said, I've already made the adjustments necessary. It just slides on like this. And as you can see, that thing's not gonna go anywhere. See, now that it's locked in there, you can see exactly what I mean. It's just on the underside of the hoop. It's not hurting anything because it's rubber and it's just gonna keep it there so it doesn't move whatsoever. All right, last but not least, before we test this, I definitely wanna put one of these little Evans EQ patches on there. By doing that, I just go like this. Boom. That way, this is just gonna keep it in place a little bit better and make sure that it doesn't go through the head too easily. That being said, let's test it out. All right, so there you have it, how to convert your floor tom into a bass drum. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. Now, if there's any questions you have, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you dig it, and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time. All right, now we're rolling, now we're rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling.